let me tell you that the Lord was not playing at all. He is angry and I want to come here and try to console you and tell you that everything is okay. The Lord listen to what I'm about to say. And I want to address this to anybody that ever comes against you. And by the way, you're watching me for the first time. I'm Ishmael and your priest. I welcome you to today's video. Listen very well. The Bible was not written for fun. I'm going to back up each and everything that I'm telling you right now. That's why you must understand the power of the Lord God Almighty. All these names, the names of God, they are not for nothing. Those are his names because he lives by them. He does not lie. He does not change his mind. That is why when he tells you that you've been marked by the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, anybody that curses you will be cast back. He means it. The, the reason the Lord says he never lies, nor does he change his mind, is because once he utters, once he says something, he promises, he promises only something which he's so sure he's going to fulfill. It's not like me as a human being that can come to you just because to, today I'm feeling so happy and I'm telling, and then I just decided to tell you, uh, you know, tomorrow I'm going to give you this money. Oh, I'm going to buy you this gift. Tomorrow I might wake up and things are no longer balancing and I will change my mind. But the Lord is so sure of yesterday, today and tomorrow. That is why you must understand that when he says no witchcraft can come against you, he means it. Let me tell you something here. There was a man. There was a man who was carrying the ark. Do you remember? Is it Seven Samuel? When they were carrying the ark, the man, I, I just forgot this name for a, a while as I'm talking right now. But that man, you know that the rule or the instructions were that only the Levites are allowed to carry the Ark of the Covenant. But that guy, whom I'm just forgetting his name right now, when he saw that the Ark was about to fall in the book of Second Samuel, when he saw the Ark was about to fall by accident as they were carrying it, he was not a Levite. He tried to help out and try to reach out his hand and by touching the Ark, the Lord, out of anger, he struck him dead. Now you can question a lot of things. The man was doing something which was right, right? The man was doing something just because he cared about the ark. No, that it did not deserve to fall down. But there is a question that I have to ask you today. Ask yourself the very same question. If God is almighty... If God knows the future, why did the instruction end with him only saying Levites are the only ones who are supposed to hold or to carry the ark? Only them, not except only if it falls, except only if there are no more Levites. There was no exception. There was no second option or plan B or plan C to Z. Nothing like that, but strictly so the Levites, game over. And the man had to die because he disobeyed. As much as what he was doing seemed right, still it got him in trouble. I want to tell you that many Christians, even to this very day as I'm talking to you, they are dying, not necessarily because they had to die, but because they forgot the instruction. The Lord made it clear. I like the Bible. It says, my people perish for lack of knowledge and what is that telling you right now they are not dying because it is their time to die but it is all because they lack knowledge when you disobey when they come against you they have to go to fall down when you disobey you must suffer the consequences of disobeying the word of god that is why don't be scared by and don't be scared of any witch. Don't be frightened by any witch. If God promised, if God assured, who are they? 
That is why some of these enemies, you will have mercy on them. That's why I was talking about my people perish for lack of knowledge. This is what's going to happen. The reason is this. If they are to go on and they come against you, you know what's going to happen? They're going to die. But if you are to decide to have mercy on them and decide to be like Uza, yeah, that is the man I was talking about, who decided to carry the ark, to hold, he died. Let me tell you, there is no exception when it comes to the word of God. He was doing right, but he disobeyed the instruction as simple as that. If you are to show love and kindness and welcome a killer, although you were warned not to welcome a killer, and you think that God is going to, come on, you're going to die. You are told Jesus understood that very well, or for that matter, Mary and Joseph, they understood that very well. Hence, they had to run away. Hence, they had to run and hide the baby Jesus from Herod. Until, directly so, they were called out by God himself. Now it is safe. They never took for granted the grace of God and said, you know what? We are going back. Ah, no ways. This is the son of God. Ah, this is our uh, no ways. Herod cannot touch. No an instruction is an instruction. If they come against you, they're going to suffer the consequences of their actions against you. Anybody that fights against you, anybody that tries to stand against the word of God, even if it was for good intentions, they are bound to suffer the consequences. That is why I gave you an example. I was like, Uza was doing what's right, but still he had to suffer the consequences of disobeying the instruction of the Lord. So how much more when it comes to your enemies? In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, anybody that has been coming against you, anybody that has been fighting against you, anybody that has been bewitching you, anybody that has not been letting go, that is why David understood very well. That's why I'm also telling you, avoid fighting the wrong battle. Avoid fighting the people of God. Avoid provoking people. Because some, they have the anointing and David understood that Saul was anointed by God. Meaning to fight the anointed of God is the same as fighting God himself. There are consequences. Anybody that is fighting against you, there are consequences. They are going to suffer. I don't, it does not matter. Even if you can have mercy, even if you can say, I forgive them. No. An instruction is an instruction. They're coming against you. Oh, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. I pray right now. Anybody watching this video who was fighting the wrong battle, if you were fighting somebody who was is anointed by God, may God enable you to repent. May God enable you to stop it right before it gets too late, before it gets you in trouble. And I pray, anybody that is not letting go of you, is holding your destiny, is coming against you, let the fire, thunder of God come against them. May God deal with them according to how he wants. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. And of course, that's all I had. My details are on the comment section below. See you next time.